Diana J. Brody here from NLE Academy, and it has come to my attention that some people still don't know about the cool AI stuff that has been integrated into Premiere. I was talking to a friend of mine, a fellow editor the other day, who was saying, oh, you know, these apps like CapCut and Descript can cut out all the ums and the uhs and all of that, so now I've got to take my video into there and have those cut out. And I'm like, what? Why? So here we go. I'm going to cover two of them today, but I'm going to go over more of them later. This is all going to be Premiere Pro, just Premiere Pro right here. Let's go over some cool AI stuff that you can do in Premiere Pro right now. Okay, first and foremost, I want to show you guys in the very, 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 very latest version of Premiere, uh, which I'm on right now, you can see that Premiere now has AI detection on what kind of audio track it is. So if you look here, you see that it's got a little symbol of a little guy talking, and that's letting you know that's interview, that's just voice talking, right? And then if you come over to here on, uh, let's, you know, let me, let me pull this over for a second. If you come over to here, you see that it has got a little musical note, and that means it's music. So it is now, the AI is auto-detecting what type of track uh, we are on. And, uh, and that's kind of cool, not very helpful, and that's not part of the two things I'm going to show you right now. So let's get started. First and foremost, I want to show you the coolest thing. Oh, my whole life, I've been nearly 30 years, since the late 1900s, I've been editing and I've been stinging music out by taking the very end sting and butting it up and then massaging it so it sounds like it works uh, for uh, making music that, um, making the music fit the clip that I want it to end on, right? So let's say that here's my edit and I want the music to end right at the end of this interview, but as you can see, it carries on. So instead of going to the blade tool, cutting it towards the end, coming over here, deleting it, and then sitting here and massaging the sting, right? Trying to get it, oh, uh, let's get it over to there. Let's massage that sting out, you know, and trying to get it just so, uh, which is an art form. It is an art form. If you aren't good at stinging out music, uh, and you're working in Avid, guess what? You better get good at it. But now in Premiere, you don't need to do it anymore. No need to do that anymore because, a, and this only works if there's no vocal in your track. If there's a vocal in your track, it's gonna, the music will sound continuous, but the vocal will be screwed up. Uh, so this just works on instrumental, but I'm interested to see what you folks do out there with making some cool, hilarious cuts in music that has a vocal track on it uh, using this tool. So let's do this. Follow the bouncing ball. We're going to come over here to the ripple edit tool on your side tools, and we're going to click and hold. And then all the way at the bottom is the remix tool. The remix tool. We're gonna come over here to the remix cool tool and we're gonna cut on the end, right on the edge, right on the last edge. And you see how it lights up red. Now we're gonna slide it all the way to the end of the cut. Now it's gonna do its little clip analysis. It does not take that long. And, uh, and he, it's almost done. Here we go. Boom, now look what's happened. Now looks like, so uh, you know, it's a, you, you gotta, it's a, not an exact science quite yet, and it extended to over there, but you know what, if I have another clip coming in and I want it, the denouement of the song, if you will, and I think you might come out under the next clip, that will work, or I can do it all over again. But if you notice, now I've got these jaggedy lines right here, all these jaggedy lines. Those jaggedy lines are where the AI has cut the song. Listen to how flawless. Unbelievable. Here we go. Listen to these. Incredible. It's just continuous. Here it is. And here's the last one. Imperceptible. And then it ends where I want it to end. Almost. I kind of, you kind of have to go a little bit, if you want this to come out properly, kind of have to go a little bit towards the end, right? A little bit in from the actual edge 
uh, but you guys get the idea and it's super cool. Now watch, if I come over here, let me go back to my regular arrow mode. I have it mapped to my keyboard, which should come as a surprise to nobody. And you come over here and you click on this and you hit uh, match frame, which is on F for me, ma uh, match frame on F. Uh, which is, uh, I think, native there, look what happens. It calls up the cut that already has all the AI cuts in it. If you want to get back to the original, let's say we want to do it all over again, you can do reveal in project, right? For me, F is match frame, shift F is reveal in project. Then I can double click on the clip, which is in a bin off to my secondary monitor. And then here is the actual song all over again. So that's tool number one, AI tool number one. It's super cool, play around with it. Just to review, you wanna come up here to what's normally the ripple uh, edit tool and go all the way down to the remix tool. I have a feeling they may just put that all by itself on the side right here because that's a thing that uh, you shouldn't have hidden. That should be right there because so useful. Okay, number two, AI tool number two. You don't need to go into Descript. By the way, Descript is for sure not paying me to mention the, the name of their uh, app and, and I'm telling you not to use their app. Uh, although you could use their app and I have used Descript actually to get the eye line when I've got a corporate video and they're reading from a script, I can run it through Descript and it'll move the eyes up so it's going center, right? So it looks like they're looking right at the camera. Here's the thing, I bet you, I bet you right now one American dollar that Premiere is going to eventually have that in in Premiere, they're gonna have that functionality. No doubt, I have no doubt about that. I have no evidence to back that up. It's just a feeling, it's inside, man. It's coming from inside. Uh, but one of the things that people are talking a lot about using Descript for is they're talking a lot about it to use so that um, uh, they can cut out all the uhs and the ums, kind of like what I just did there. So here's my interview with my cousin, right? I can come up to text and right here in this little guy, uh, if you click on that guy, you can say filler words or pauses, or you can search for things, right? So we're gonna use just for today, the AI uh, integration of cutting out filler words and or pauses. So let's do filler words. If we do click on that, see where it says filler all over the place, right? Where maybe he's saying like or um or uh all over the place. If I click on one of them and I click on delete, then you can choose to extract it where it ripple closes, you know, it's a ripple delete, right? It, it will take it out and close the gap or you can do it as a lift, which I prefer personally because I want to get the timing right. If I'm if I'm cutting out um, I don't want those two words butted up against each other too closely. I want it to still sound natural. I'm obviously going to put B-roll over it when I take all this stuff out. Uh, but I like to choose how big that gap is. I'm not a content creator where I'm going through and making a whole bunch of jump cuts and I'm never covering it with B-roll or I'm covering it with just a little piece of B-roll that only hangs out for like one second and then going back to the choppy edit. I don't know, content creators need to step up their game. I'm gonna do a whole series on that because as you can tell, it's bugging me. So let's come over here to filler. We hit delete. I'm gonna choose lift just cause I think it's a better visual, but I'll show you the other in one second. And we're gonna come over to, we can delete just this one filler word or we can delete them all, all the ones that it found. Here we go, delete. Now look at what we got here. And it left this gap. It left the gap where the filler word used to be and it cut it all out, boom, automatically. No need to use CapCut. No, you need to go into Descript. We can do everything here in Premiere and we can do it just as well. Right now, I'm gonna hit undo. I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna come back up to this weird little icon. Don't know what that icon's called. Uh, the little funnel icon. And instead of filler words, let's do pauses. Now you see these three dots, which you should be used to seeing in your script anyway, because these have been there for a long, long time. But now you can click on any one of them, click delete, 
and and let's do an we'll do an extract on this one and we'll say delete all we're going to delete all the pauses my cousin does have a tendency to pause and think about things which i like thoughtful interview hit delete all boom now look down here now it, it instead of leaving the gap like a lift function it extracted it like a ripple delete function all the way through the whole thing now those are gone now i can space it out if i want to uh which i'm definitely going to uh that will happen guaranteed and uh and here we go this is this is what we got this is great and now uh we can go ahead and we could come back up here and say now we also want to get rid of these filler words delete uh, let's lift those instead just for the just for chuckles hit delete all now it's not only cut out all the uh, long pauses that he's had throughout his interview but it's also now cut out all the ums and uhs automatically ready to go now I don't have to do that as I go now it's taken care of and I can massage that using any number of trim tools which I think is fantastic these are my two favorite ai integrations so far i'm going to do another video on more of those i i did do a video on scripting ai for both for avid and for premiere avid can't do this right now doesn't do what premiere does right now in these two ai tools that i showed you but it does have ai scripting as does Premiere, so I'm gonna link to that right up here and I'll link it at the end of the video if you wanna go ahead and take a look at that. But those are my two favorite AI tools so far. Let me know what yours are. What are you looking for in AI? What do you wanna see? What are you already using that's not covered by my two favorites so far? Let me know in the comments, I wanna know. Hope you're having a great day. That's it for my two favorite AI tools. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. And if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Feel free to check my link in the bio or the link underneath if you're watching this on YouTube.